This video will get you using the FET Beer's Law Lab, which is a simulation of a spectrophotometer used in uh, chemistry. First thing you need to do is click on the Beer's Law icon, and that'll open a window where you have the basic components of a spectrophotometer. You have a light source, which you will need to click on. You have a sample holder. You have a detector, a readout, and we like to have the readout on absorbance, not on transmittance. Um, we can adjust the sample size. Uh, to do that, we really should have the ruler up here um, so that we know what the size is. And we're actually at one centimeter. We're going to be able to change the wavelength. To change it, we click on variable. And now we have the ability to change it. If you want to change it subtly, click on the arrows. If you hit preset, you'll go back to the original set color. Uh, we also can pick the solution that is inside the sample cell by clicking on the up arrow. Um, we'll do some stuff with cobalt chloride and a few other things. Um, you can adjust the concentration in the cell. And if you have to set it to a particular value, you can click to have a little bit better control. Okay. That's kind of the blood and guts. Um, you need to go to the handout now, which has all of this laid out in a static version and then get you collecting some data so that you can uh, kind of use this simulation as a mock laboratory for uh, deriving some information about Beer's Law. Good luck.